right? I have it recording. Awesome. So here's what you're gonna do. So for example, I was just telling them I love the Texas Rangers going to the stadium and having fun. So right next to that, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw me a picture of going to the stadium and having fun with my dad. As you know, I'm not a very good artist, but that's okay. So right now you should be drawing a picture. So here's a little stadium seats on another piece of paper. So here's me on another piece of paper, draw a picture. And this is a good step that good authors do is they draw pictures so that they can help it helps them write write about more stuff. So here I am. Here's my there's me. I know I'm a funny funny looking person. I'm kind of funny anyway. Alright, so there's me. Here's my dad. Like I said, I'm not a very good artist, but it is what it is. And there we are at the baseball game. There's my eyes. There's my hair. And we're having fun watching the game. Okay, so there's box number one. You should have paper and pencil out. You should be doing the same thing, guys. Yes, here. Okay, then you can use one of your map pencils. There you have a marker that you had. You can use a marker for this activity, crayon, map pencil. Marker? Sure. Marker? Box number two. Just one, just one. Guys, one, just one, just one. We're not getting four. Sarah, I'll put it up. Just one, dude. Pick one. Pick your favorite. Go. Pick your favorite. Go. Quickly. You can get markers over here, right? Ready? And 10 seconds left. Nine. Get a marker. Go. Nine. Eight. Grab one. Uh-uh. We're just grabbing one. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. You should be setting down four. Three. Two. Walk. Please. One and zero. Yes, Tyler. You got a question? Okay. So what we did yesterday was we we wrote out our five boxes okay today what we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture next to each box okay if you don't know where your five box plan is or your uh, treasure my hand is then you'll just try to remember what your story was about and draw five pictures that go with the story okay it's a little bit of art yes uh, tyler did you have your hand up So um, our whole story is about something fun with a partner. So choose something that you had fun doing with a friend. Uh, um, so for example, for me, I had fun going to the baseball game with my dad. That was, that was what I chose. And so I drove there, we went inside, um, went to our seats. We watched the game, there was a parade, there was fun yelling and screaming, everybody had a blast. At the end, Rangers win, there's fireworks, more fun and yelling and screaming. And then at the end, um, we all went home and had a blast, for example. You'll go into more detail as you can. Tyler's right there, because we're in the middle of a lesson. Okay, you gotta go sit down. Can I say hi to the You gotta go sit down, please. Not, not right now, guys. We're in the middle of a lesson, so you need to sit down, please. Not right now in the middle of a lesson. Already answered that question. Go sit down, please. Okay, so 
that's what you're gonna do, friend, is next to each picture. So when it says, I drove there, go inside. So what you're doing is you're drawing pictures for each of your boxes. Do you have any questions, Selena? So for each one of your five boxes, you will have one picture. So when you're done, you should have five pictures. So right here, I drove there, I go inside, go to the seats. So uh, what I would draw is myself driving a car, going inside to the stadium, walking inside, and then going to our seats. Okay. The only reason I'm not doing it is because I'm walking around with the, I have a live class right now with Ms. Diaz's group. And so I'm trying to walk around and see everybody's work. Okay. So what you're doing, Selena, is you're drawing a picture for whatever you wrote right there. And then you're going to go down to box three, do the same thing. Four, same thing. Five, same thing. Susan, put up the toy. Caesar, you got your markers? You drawing, dude? Mason, you know what to do? Okay, so you're gonna draw five pictures to go with your story. Okay? How's it going, table one? Awesome. So now you get to draw a picture that goes with your story. That's the lazy river. Awesome, I love it. Awesome. 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 Working on it. Working on it, table three. Hey, you're too open. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath, but I'm an old man. It's funny because I'm the youngest teacher, and I'm. Wait, you're the youngest? How? Out of the four of us, of the four second grade teachers. Um, how old is my kid? I'm not going to talk about a, a teacher's age. That would not be That would not be nice. That would not be respectful to Ms. Diaz. Now you can draw with your that goes with your story. Good, good, good. All right. Good. I like how you're participating. Thank you. Yes, Casey. You have a question? Why well, has got a thumbs up? Why is the lights off? Because I have it this on the um, ladybug. And so you can't see the screen if the lights are on. You want to be able to see my examples. Yes, Sophia. Can we take two? Just one. Okay. Did you draw a picture for each one? Awesome. Awesome, Caesar. Where's your work, dude? Where's your pencil? Yes, sir. What do you need? Okay, so yesterday I had you write out your five boxes. I had you tell me a story or something fun you had you had fun with a friend. So for my story, I had fun going to the Texas Rangers game with my dad. The last game of the season. The last time they were in the old stadium. And so I drove there, we went inside, went to my seats, then we got to watch the game. Fun, yelling, screaming, parade happened in the middle of the story. Rangers win at the end, fireworks more fun than yelling. Okay, and so now what you're gonna do, after you've done that, is you're gonna draw a picture for each part. Okay? 
okay? Tomorrow, I know I have the writing activity today, friend, for you guys, but the writing will actually be tomorrow when we actually do it, okay? If you want to get started on it today, go for it, but I will not have it due until tomorrow. Okie dokie. I see a couple of hands. Yes, Landon. Do you want some lime green? Does anyone have lime green? No. What, buddy? Landon, did you have your hand up, buddy? Oh, you finished all five pictures? Awesome. That's fantastic. All right. My uh, meeting today is going to be really short and sweet. This was the main thing that I want you to do. And the reason it's important to draw pictures is because it helps the writers think of more details. As I draw my pictures and start thinking about sitting with my dad and having fun, I start thinking about, oh yeah, that's right. I also got popcorn. I also got hot dogs. And um, I love them. I love all my um, hot dogs getting the chili and the peppers and all that. It's a lot of fun. And then get a big Diet Coke, of course, me and my Diet Coke. And I uh, had a whole lot of fun sharing that with my dad. And um, I also think about the guy in front of me, he was yelling and screaming, but I was, I was probably louder because I was having more fun. So as I'm writing pictures and drawing pictures, I should say, writing words, I think of more details. Yes, Cruz. Awesome. That's fantastic. Kason, I'm gonna in a second, dude, I'm gonna have everybody show me. Yes, Kason. Okay. That's fantastic. Yes, Miss Cox. And Yes. What we're doing today is adding more details by drawing pictures. And one of the things good writers do is they draw pictures. And as they draw pictures, they think of more details that go with their story. Yes, ma'am. And then tomorrow is when I know I have it for writing today. I haven't had a chance to slow down um, yet. And I'm, so I'm going to find that link uh, too for maybe by the end of the day. Um, but I'll get it done. Um, I have the writing thing for today, but it'll probably be done tomorrow. Is when the writing will actually be due. Yes, uh, officially yes, but I would like to give them extra more time to write because this is the first time, so I would like to give them a little bit more time to get it done. Somebody's off mute. You. Can you mute yourself, please, Caesar? Please, you okay? Cruz, can you meet yourself? All right, so, uh oh, let me still not out. Who is it? Let me see if I can mute Awesome. All right, so what I'm going to do before y'all leave today is I'm going to have you guys yell or not yell. I said the wrong. Caesar, mute yourself, please. Caesar. Thank you, buddy. Um, I can't hear. Um, if you, if what you're gonna do is, I just want you to wave at all your friends in Miss Caesar's room, and they want to say hi to you too. All right, and then that'll be the end. Okay. Cruz, Cruz. We're not making each other. Hi, Mason. Where is up here? Hi, Mason. All right. Thank you, guys. Go back to your seat. Hi, Mason. Where's Ivy? Oh, you're not screaming. Where's Ivy? All right. I couldn't see Ivy. Ivy was in the bedroom. Ivy's our daddy. All right, guys. That's the end of the meeting today. Um, you guys have a wonderful, fantastic afternoon. Oh.
Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow morning. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.